All right, on to the fashion report. Yeah, right now I have a little over 127,000 gold saucer points. I already, already bought the 2 million mount. Uh, I just bought the 1 million mount last week. Uh, the Fenrir 1 million. Um, and then I bought a couple dances and some cosmetic stuff. Now I'm really not sure what to buy. And I was hoping to be adding more. You know, I saw, okay, well, they're going to be adding some content to the gold saucer. They're going to add some new items and stuff. And then they did, and it was just a stripper pull. And, you know, I have no problem with that. You know, I'm a, I would like to consider myself the pillar of the ERP community. I like to think that I built it single-handedly and they would just fall apart tomorrow if I ever left. And uh, so I'm all for that kind of thing. But you can't do anything with a stripper pole. You can't dance on it. You can't interact with it. So it just seems a little hollow. It seems like a slap in the face to the ERP community and to uh, Gold Saucer enthusiasts as a whole. I hope they rectify that. Also, you can't even get mayonnaise in this game. I don't know what the deal with that is. You can get pizza in the game. But you can't get mayonnaise. And if uh, Hollandaise sauce, which I've never actually had before, it's like some bastardized cousin of mayonnaise. But uh, yeah, there's, there's a number of wrongs that they need to right before I consider this game to be on the same level as uh, the one true MMO, Toontown Online. That's where I cut my teeth as a gamer, MMO gamer, I should say. And uh, yeah, I have yet to be challenged in this game as much as I was in Toontown Online. At this point, I don't even know why I continue paying for a subscription. Um, well, I should say why my mom, because I, I use my mom's credit card. You know, that's how I bought my pillow wife. And either way, you know, there's some improvements I'd like to see around here, and hopefully I get to it. All right. Now for the lottery. I've never gotten any more than just one number, the last number correct for this, so I'd be I'd be really happy if I even got two numbers, but I'll never win the jackpot, that's for sure. Man, not winning anything this week. Alright, hopefully Lady Luck is with me this time. Feel it. This one's a good one. I'm gonna be a millionaire this time next week. Mm. That one's not gonna win, but I've given up. So now, um, I guess we'll go play some arcade games. Just enough to get the weekly challenge, and then maybe one or two chocobo races. Same spot. The same exact spot. There we go, finally. I was thinking of my pillow wife. I'm trying to, always trying to make her proud. I am on my fourth pillow marriage, and I, uh, I can't bear the thought of losing her Rudy. Again. Because she was my first pillow wife, and then we got back together. She's my fourth pillow wife now. So the thought of losing her for a third time is too much. All right, now, um, the other thing that kind of drew me away for Chocobo Racing was just I managed to get uh, Super Sprint, and I'm not sure how to use that. Again, it's, you know, it comes down, I think, to the whole uh, min-maxing of the stats. Um, I think once I get my stats, like stamina and endurance to a, to a better level, it'll probably work better. But for now, it's just I don't really see too much of an advantage of using it. Maybe I'm just using it wrong. So if you are a real person, uh, whether you're watching right now or you're watching in the future, um, even if it's 10 years from now, please let me know, because I, I seriously can't figure this out, it's bugging me. Oh, 
All right. So it's just me versus the AI, but I still don't have a good feeling about this. Ministerial Valiant right off the gate. Touch Uranus uh, in seventh now, eighth place. We got Miss Luna taking the lead over Touch Uranus. Touch Uranus still behind. Touch Uranus coming up from behind. And uh, Horde Runner and Gross Illusion. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, see, that's what I was anticipating. I always, I always pop something that you shoot at somebody. And then right before I do, they pop their shield like Horde Runner here. Now, there we go. Now I got him. I don't have to worry about it being reflected on me. Um, let's see here. Stamina tab. I could really use that. Hell yeah. Alright, so. Seventh place. Touch Uranus is seventh place. Grudanisher Winter. However the hell you pronounce that. He's in first place. But uh, I've got more stamina than everybody else. I do have a stamina tablet. I'm still holding on to my Super Sprint, and again, I don't really know how it works. I don't know the best way to use it to maximize it. So, hopefully if somebody ever watches this, they'll let me know. In the meantime, I'm just going to be mediocre as hell. And uh, that's probably just going to be the way it is until I get up to a further level. And then I can start manually uh, leveling up my individual stats. Ministerial Valiant coming up again. And let's see here, we are 70% through, I think that's as good as time as any to just pop this super spin. Plus I did use a stamina tablet so I am tireless. And uh, Touch Uranus coming up the rear hard. Touch Uranus blazing the trail. Oh fuck yeah. We might get this. This could be a victory for Touch Uranus. The once undisputed champ is now a shadow of his former self. Severely underleveled in all these individual stats. Gross Illusion coming up from the rear. Touch Uranus. Is he going to make it? Is he going to do it? Yes, he did it. Touch Uranus for the win. He's taking the win. Took the gold. And, uh, yeah, I didn't know I was going to get that. It's been a couple weeks since I got a victory. I'm just glad I won't have to take him to the glue factory. You're a fucking stud, Touch Uranus. A fucking stud. I'm proud of you. And I think that's about as time, as good as time as any to just wrap this up. I'm going to take a little break before we start the Hildebrand quest line. If you are actually a real person, and I doubt it, thank you for watching. Uh, maybe you're a real person in the future, watching this at a later date. And uh, I appreciate that too. Once again, I do stream every day, whether you like it or not. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.